and a wife and a mother and have a family and be perfectly, perfectly okay with that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's that's not how it is abroad. No, it's not. In, in, in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Dallas, anywhere in America right now, uh, there's a really bad culture going on with the, especially anybody under the age of 40. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. Really, really difficult. Uh, I don't know if you if you if you keeping up with social media, you understand the term yes. passport bros. Yes. Because uh, there is a difference. There's passport bros who are going abroad, Boom. finding wives yes. that they want to marry and bring back to the states and yeah. actually have a legitimate family. And then there's guys going out there doing nonsense. Yep. Which when I was younger, I was nonsense too. But now I'm older. This is it. You're finding someone traditional. And I, I be explaining to them my wife also because. They look at her first. They think I robbed the cradle. She ain't that much younger than me. she's younger than me, but it ain't she ain't in her twenties. This okay. is a, this is a grown she woman. Just look good. Yeah, so she, there she, go. keep looking but good. Girl. That's the thing. That's what I say. Stuff. She's fit, feminine, friendly, and that mm -hmm. was one of the things. Uh, Kevin, I don't know if you know Kevin Samuels. This is one of the things he I, talked about. Yes, I've heard. Of uh, I mean, I hope you didn't get caught up in the negative one because I used to watch the show every day. Oh. I mean, yeah, this dude. Okay, see, I heard about him. But see, this is let me let me explain because the people take clips, they take viral clips, mm -hmm. and then they show you the worst. I've seen Kevin Samuels. There's women who got on the show. You could tell they were having mental. They got because he was really big on getting mental help. Yes. you know, getting therapy and stuff like that. And you could see they were. She was really struggling, and she was saying all the crazy things. But she was polite, and he always said. He gives back the energy that you give him. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, see, the mm -hmm. video clips that always go viral is the ones he's giving back the energy. Yep. He's like, if you're coming to him ab uh, abruptly, he's going to give it back yep. to you. And those are always because people like controversy. But yep, me and my yep. friends, when he came about, we started watching. And trust me, yes, he can be uh, kind of honest, or really un openly honest. But his agenda really was trying to get especially people of color to get together mm -hmm. and to have family and to, to, to break a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. Like I say, now you see all the virals, you're going to see the worst part of them. That's just like Jerry Springer. Absolutely. Jerry Springer, I, I grew up watching Jerry Springer. You're looking at Jerry Springer, you're thinking mm -hmm. Jerry Springer's a monster. Mm -hmm. But at every ending of every show, what did he say? He was always trying to say, I know we had the show that everybody wants to watch, but it's really about... Hey, people got to learn from each other and bring each other together. But people always get caught up in the negative. And that's why I say people who don't really know him, mm -hmm. that's why I'm always an advocate. Same thing with Dr. Sabi. Dr. Mm -hmm. sabi has been gone now for seven years. Mm -hmm. I know his being. I, I got it on my, my walls. Mm -hmm. I understand what to eat, what not to eat. You know, I mm -hmm. understand Dr. Sabi. I understand what his mission was what his purpose was, mm -hmm. people don't uh, understand it. They may not know the real Dr. Sabi. Right. And then there's a lot of other people come out, you know, he's got daughters, he's got sons, exactly. grandsons. Everybody's putting out something, everybody like, I still don't know if his daughter who's in Honduras is connected to uh, the office in LA. And I went to the LA office in 2017. Mm -hmm. and I was like, and I never did ask. I saw, uh, I saw the guy who got arrested with him in there. He passed through and I, you know, I'm I'm like kind of non-confrontational, even though I'm a big guy. I'm really I don't want to start no trouble. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to interview. I wanted to ask him questions. Absolutely. But you know, Dr. Saban, so yeah, political he, almost. Yeah, and that's why I didn't want to get involved in it. It's like, but the message is eating alkaline, healing your body, all the all the disease that is is can be healed by the medicine, yep. which is our food. Yep. You know, we don't have to. We don't have to take the pharmaceuticals, and that's the real mission. So, that's why I don't really trip when I see his uh, grandson mm -hmm. or even his uh, one of his. I think it was his second wife. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen her, and because she used to be a uh, fig tree, is when I got involved in it. Mm -hmm. When I actually knew about it, it was fig tree, mm -hmm. and I was like, I see her still talking. And I was like, they understand the the agenda is healing people. Yeah. But you know, the brand is Doctor Sabian, and that's where so the money you say is. It. And, and that's where people, you, you know, yeah. is fighting over the money. Absolutely. Know. That's all it is. And when you have that kind of renown and you have a large family or extended mm -hmm. family, yep. by all means, unless it, you know, he died in test state, 
and nobody knew who was supposed to get what and everybody is trying to figure out how they're going to get a piece of the pie yeah, and that's literally cool. just by saying his name you know it's a, it's like a credibility stamp yeah so we you know we understand it and that's what that's also one of the things that uh kevin Sanders said everybody should have a wheel absolutely everybody should have a living will you, you should have, have a will you have a living will you should fight and over a trust yeah if you have the trust then it doesn't have to go to probate yeah <laughs> no, and, but that's 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 the interesting uh, a lot of people uh, mm -hmm. his channel still puts out uh videos because his best friend his close associate and his family still runs it mm -hmm. and it's funny because you never hear none of them fighting over it. you know why because yeah. he left the trust mm -hmm. And he, everybody knows everybody what they knows get. Everybody, what everybody yeah. knows, and so, that's what we have to do. And it's and it's beneficial for everybody to work together in the trust because as long as his stuff is still generating, mm -hmm. the trust keeps making money. There it is, and that's what I'm saying. So it's no longer, oh, uh, I'm the one. Exactly. I'm his best friend. I know everybody's putting in because the money it. keeps let's, coming. Let get the let let the bag keep getting larger. Yeah. That's why the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, all of them. All of them. You don't never hear none of them fighting over Ever. It. Yeah, because they're all in trust. Everybody everybody is good, good. <laughs> yeah, they understand the system. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, uh, it would be probably a miracle to get my wife to go to that class. But this is what I actually want her to cook for me at home. And I know it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. It's I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I think challenge. we've got enough on the ground here that sister is familiar with. That at least for your plate, she's gonna know what. Are to you do. willing to learn how to cook mm -hmm. this food? Of course she is. Well, wait, are you willing to learn how to cook this food? <laughs> yes. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you to that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you to it because that's that's the biggest thing. It's like uh, if we start generating where she doesn't have because she mm -hmm. does hair. And over there doing braids, she's going to make good. Yep. But if she has children, I don't really want her working hard. So, I understand I that. mean, that's why I'm a plumber. That's why well, I do we what want, I do. We, we know we are yeah. always setting things up, hopefully for our sisters to have a soft life. Yeah. So they can concentrate on themselves yes. and then the family when yeah. they're at their best and they're not stressing on how we're going to keep this all afloat once you deal with the provision side and you keep the home uh balanced and it's a safe space yeah. and you learn how to uh build on your communication so it's open and honest you have those tough conversations and it doesn't you know doesn't break the relationship mm -hmm. or cause any you know any damage then you grow and then you turn into that power couple yeah. and that's really that's really where it's at that's what you want and yeah she's gonna be in there clicking them pots what you talking I, about i'm hoping I'm oh hoping. don't even that, hope it's it, she's gonna surprise you because i'm telling you that, that, that's the same you gonna go back she's gonna be here yeah. say less yeah. uh, okay that's all we have to say Say less. I, i'm telling you to, to get her say less. to get her i, I got to get her <laughs> to the point where she could go to a class or something here because that so you said that where we're going tomorrow is uh pat's well, not tomorrow because it's Sunday. Oh, She's Monday, a Monday Sunday. through Friday. Monday. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, yeah, sun. So Monday through Friday. So Monday, where we're going, that's who offers the food courses. We offer the food courses here. Here. Okay. Here. The chef that okay. cooked your food okay. teaches the course. Okay. Cool. All right. So and he can give you if you only want alkaline, he can give you straight alkaline. If you only want raw, he can always do raw. Whichever one that you're kind of, you know, feeling like you want to rock with. Well, the thing, I just want to live long without pain and suffer. Please That's do that. And we need we need you to yeah. do that. That's you what know, I you got about. you got somebody loving on you now, so you got a little bit more but incentive. To, but she wants to feed me that chicken. <laughs> of course she does, because she likes it. <laughs> she She's going to give you what she likes. She, every day she keeps saying. She said, yes, let's have chicken. some chicken. <laughs> and, and like I say, the flesh, it tastes good. And that's, mm -hmm. like, that's one of the biggest issues I got. I'm in Texas where it's beef ribs and, yes. and brisket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're in, in cattle country. What yeah. do you need? That is that is an issue, and it's like, but even there, it's like I've got one place I go to, and there's a couple of vegan spots, but mm -hmm. that's why I say the prices. Mm -hmm. I have to go. I go to what is called uh, it's a Hiri Krishna temple. It's yes. Kalashanji, yes. and they do 
vegetarian and vegan. vegan. Yep. Yep. So yep. that's one of my favorite places to go to. And it's I can go to a work now because it's inside the city of Dallas. I can stop doing lunch buffets and get it. And they have a buffet and it's usually about $17. Mm -hmm. That's why I was trying to tell you, you, you to get this quality of food mm -hmm. isn't easy there mm -hmm. at a affordable price. And we work real hard at that because the idea, of course, we're in business and we want to make a profit. No, you gotta make a but profit. it's not it's not the number one for me. Yeah. The number one is to have this plant based menu spread around. Yeah. So people are more familiar with it. It doesn't seem like it's a foreign concept. Mm -hmm. The majority of the ingredients that we use here are locally sourced mm -hmm. and it's only some of the other things that people say, oh like falafel. Mm -hmm. You know, people, uh, they know what they want and what they're used to outside, but we do as much as we can to use our local products so people understand. We just had Farmer's Day, and we want to let our farmers know we're supporting you. We're not yeah. importing everything that, we, that we're that we eating. And, that, and that, that's what you would think, like they just had, what, Farmer's Day was yesterday, mm -hmm. and you would think, that's what I would see more of, like, I, like I've just certain things I just can't believe I'm not seeing. Yeah. Because the greens is what I'm, I'm shocked at. It's more we greens have greens, vegetables. we just don't eat them. We have oh. callaloo, we have spinach, we have cabbage, now we have broccoli, mm -hmm. now, I mean, so many more things are being even grown here. We didn't have broccoli before, we didn't have Brussels sprouts before. Now, Brussels sprouts. those things are now being propagated. Yeah. We have a sweet potato. It's a white sweet potato, but yeah, now we're like growing yam. orange sweet potatoes. Orange? Yeah, oh. candy yams. Big candy yams. Yep. She don't know what candy yams Because when she keep on feeding me yams, I was like, is this candy yams? And, but it's yam, their yam is more close to a potato. Yes, yes. That's what so the texture is. So we now to. grow orange sweet potatoes that we okay. use for candy yams, usually in the north. Okay. And we, I think we tried some in the garden over there in the nutmeg grove. I and they started too. to they're starting to now put it back in the system because it was being imported from uh, South Africa okay. and at ShopRite so you would go to ShopRite that's the only place that you could uh, find it and when people started to see like wait a minute they're really liking and preferring the orange to the local white you know especially the diasporans and we need to grow it here and we grow everything here they don't like sweets here not so much. We're not yeah. really sweet toothy kind of thing. We like yeah. our little bit of pastries and then we're done with it. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I've never really seen her. They eat bread, but I've never really seen her eat pastries. Because it's not common. Yeah. I mean, we're, we, we try to get full on food. Yeah. The sweet thing, we, we'll eat candy. Yeah. Or the sweet taste yes. as opposed to a, candy, a pastry. Yes. If you want a, a lollipop or chewing gum or hard candy or something like that, that's about as sweet as it goes. Or uh, soda. Yeah. That's about as sweet as it goes. And when you're talking about uh, cakes and cookies and cupcakes and donuts, those are kind of specialties for yeah. us because they're expensive and you know we're thinking about okay I spend 20 for this one donut and I can get so much from yeah. the lady on the roadside from the market I can feed my family for the week yeah, that's exactly what she was talking you ready uh -huh. to go see your time you, you, yes it's time I know, I know. <laughs> well I'm see, so no, no, I'm, I'm, today. I'm doing secret video because